people of the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven on Twitter, YouTube, and people elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. And I don't know what's going on with Quick at the moment, but it's got a whole new screen and a bunch of other confusing stuff. And my first thought was, huh, what's going on there? Anyway, told me my uploading limit is reaching to go premium. Don't they know I can upload directly through YouTube? Hello, I don't need to use their service. I just like their camera. In the meantime, I've had a bad day today. I had a storm at church. My face was doing all this twitching. And I'm going, what's, what gives? I've eaten properly. And then it occurred to me, no, I did not. I had coffee for breakfast. I made breakfast. I failed to eat breakfast. I grabbed a donut at church, had more coffee, so that's too much sugar right there. Then I came home just when I, you know, started to do my usual routine and everything. My son called, said he needed a ride home from work, didn't eat lunch, took him home, went straight to choir rehearsal from there. Then evening service is starting, and by now... Four hours have gone by, and I hadn't eaten anything except for a donut at the start. Bad things happen when I don't eat on schedule. But anyway, that's not why I came to talk to you. I got this ideal, or shall we say, inspiration. If you go back a couple of videos, I'm talking about zebra print and those in my family that are zebra wild. Now, you know me. I like pink zebra. But my daughter is zebra crazy. Black and white zebra, teal and green zebra, pink zebra, whatever. But anyway, I thought I'd try a chevron pattern, and it worked out rather well. I still got to do the back taping, so that way it becomes a congruent piece of fabric. But I figured I'd show it to you. So, here we go. Ta-da! It actually goes like this. And, oops, <laughs> of course the raw tape is sticking and stuff, so now i got to try to counteract. Anyway, I figure mark the absolute center where I started, because I started two pieces of tape at a 60 degree angle each. And then from that exact center, measure out or make a pattern for a purse, and that's how we're going to start the next project. I... I'm thinking since this is slightly crooked, maybe it'll be a purse for me. I want to test out the pattern before I give out the pattern. And if you go back a couple of videos, you already know what I intend to do. Yeah. But in case they're watching, then we won't be going viral with too many details. You know what I'm saying? So when I get the projects completed, especially after I get them gifted, then I'll be giving you more details. But I just want to share this chevron. And for those duct tapers out there that, um, you know, are always looking for new patterns or, well, actually most duct tapers will be able to tell how I did it. But for new duct tapers, start with a piece of tape going this way and a piece of tape going that way. And then just lay each individual color separately going back and forth like that. And this is what you end up with. Then, of course, you have to anchor the sides with, like, a piece of tape facing up. So that way when you pick it up, because some of these pieces are not overlapping, but that will allow you to pick up the whole thing, flip it over, so then you can do all the um, anchoring tape. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, just wanted to share that. Y'all stay blessed. And this has been People of 7 on Twitter and YouTube, People Elsewhere on the Internet. And I'm going to go eat some more food. Y'all stay blessed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.